Hey everyone, John here. Um, here with another stencil tutorial. We're going to continue making the Space Invaders game. Alright, so in this tutorial to start, we are going to make it so our, our um, ship can fire the lasers. So we're going to go to Actor Types and go to the ship. And then go into Events. And then I am going to add event basics not basics actually I'm gonna go into input sorry input and then it's going to be we're gonna do keyboard and then control we're gonna choose control when action one is pressed that's what we're gonna do when action one is pressed and I'm going to rename this I'm going to rename this to fire laser because it's good to rename things all right, so now we're going to search for a block. We're gonna search create. So we have this right here, create actor type. This is the one we want right here, create actor type at X, Y at front. And then we're gonna choose actor type. We're gonna choose the laser. And then we're going to go into actors. And then we're going to go into properties. Should be in properties. Nope, it's in position, sorry. All right, so we're gonna want X of self in that box and Y of self on that box. All right, and then we're going to go into motion. And you see here where it says, push actor gently towards blank blank at force. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put last created actor because the late because we just created the laser, so the laser is the last created actor. Sharply. Now we're gonna fill out the direction. So the the x direction is zero because it's not going anywhere left or right. Because x is left and right. And then y is negative one, because negative one is up. And 40 is a good force. That is good for that. So now if you want a test game, that should work. Might be good to go into settings and then go into controls and see what action one is. Action one is Z on mine. It might be space for you and you can change it like that. Just by clicking and then hitting the key you want it to be and then hit OK. So it's compiling. And then now I can fire. But it's not doing anything. It's just going to sit at the top and do nothing so uh it's probably something we should do next all right so that's what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that the bullets can get rid of the get rid of themselves so we're going to go to the dashboard and in the actor types we're going to go to the laser events we're going to add event this is going to be a collision so when the collisions collide with a specific actor. Oops. Specific actor is not the right one. Sorry. Um, we we want actor of type. Actor of type because what type of actor? Oops. So yes, when self hits a enemy, perfect. Sorry, I'm losing it a little bit. <laughs> when self hits an enemy, then for now. We are just going to do a kill self. So just search kill and then kill self. And I'm going to rename this to enemy collision. And then I'm going to add one more event and it's going to be in actors and then enters or leaves the screen specific actor. So when self exits the scene, well, where do screen when self exits the screen again kill self we can test that and right now the enemies won't die but anytime we hit an enemy the bullet will die so it'll just disappear so that's what we want for now and we're going to change it make it better later so now anytime I hit the enemy it disappears Perfect. That is exactly what I want. All right. Now, 
now we are going to destroy the enemy ships. So, we're going to do something special here. We're going to make, we're going to use a trigger block. So we're going to search trigger. We're going to trigger a custom event. So trigger event in all behaviors for, not on this one, sorry. I want this to be on that one. So I'm just gonna drag it in here. Not this one, this one. <laughs> trigger event, and I'm gonna type in hit, just like that. Trigger event hit in all behaviors for, and then I can just drag in this actor of type. So, cause actor of type refers to the enemy that we hit. All right, so now you may have guessed it. We are going to go to the dashboard and open up our enemy and we're gonna write an event called hit. Go to events, add event, advanced, custom event. And I'm going to rename this custom event exactly how I spelled it over there. So capital H I T is what I did. Oops, I did cancel. Remember, I'm going to write it exactly how I did there. And same in here, I'm gonna write it exactly how I did in there. All right. So now, now what I'm going to do is all the enemies are going to need a variable. So remember, a value to keep track of their health. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into attributes, create an attribute, call it HP or health points or whatever you want to call it, and make sure it's type number. And hit OK. That's perfect. And I'm going to add event created. I'm going to rename this setup, not created setup, I want setup. I'm just going to set health points to whatever I want, probably three. That's going to be my setup event. All right, and then I'm going to make it so I'm going to do an updating to check when the health points drop below zero. So I'm going to say health check, I'm going to call it health check. Flow, so if. I'm going to search less, I'm going to use a less than or equal to. I can hit the arrow, attributes HP. So if HP is less than or equal to zero, then once again, search kill, kill self. It's going to be kill self, just like that. Perfect. And we could also play our explosion sound. So search play. And right here, play sound. So play. make sure you put it before, otherwise it won't run. Explosion. Because if it if you put it after, then the enemy will already be dead and it won't be able to run it anything because it's dead. It doesn't exist anymore. All right, so now we are going to do our, now we're going to program our hit event for real. All right, so go into numbers and text. And you can see this increment number by zero. We're going to drag that in. So increment means to add one or by to add blank so this is the blank so I'm just gonna put in one but I want to decrement HP by one that means that it's going to subtract H one from HP so when hit happens subtract one from HP and I'm going to search effect and I'm going to grab this one apply effect and then I can use make negative so apply effect make negative to self so again, I just clicked on this drop down, went to basics, and then use make negative. And then I'm going to search do after. It's also in flow, but it's okay to search. So do after. So do after, I'm going to put 0 0.1 seconds. So that's a tenth of a second. And then I'm going to search remove. And I'm going to remove all effects from self. So if you see what that does, I'm going to hit test game. And what it'll do is it'll make it so now, if they if every time we hit it, it'll drop its HP. And when, if its HP goes below zero, it'll die and play the explosion sound. And it'll also have a cool effect every time it gets hit. All right, so see that it's sort of just like flashes. And then if I hit it enough, it disappears and plays the explosion sound. This is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. All right. Next up, what we are going to do is we are going to do a score sort of thing. 
So, uh, well, not quite. We're just going to make a, a little victory sign. So, we go into the dashboard. In fonts, we are going to create a new font. And we'll call it, just call it default. Just going to be the default font that we use. And then we can just just make it however we want. I'm just going to do that. Make it perfect like that. I'm going to use a newspaper. It looks sort of nice. Probably make the size a little bit bigger. And make it like a bold italic that looks cool. Smoothing's fine. Color. Let's see. It's a blackish black background. So probably something light. Maybe a green. Do a gradient. That sounds fun. No, that's the same color I chose. Like a gradient to light. And gradient offset just changes where the midline is. I think zero is fine because that's the center. And then in effects, I could do a light stroke, like a background stroke that has just a little bit of an outline to it. And we can add, hmm, do I want the shadow effect? That looks sort of cool. Uh, the shadow effect of 10. All right, uh, well, you probably won't be able to see a shadow on the dark background, so I'm just gonna make it zero. I think that looks pretty good, that's a decent font. All right. Next up, we're going to make it so you can win the game. That sounds like a good idea. All right. So let's go into the level. So dashboard, scenes, and open up the level. Go into events. And then I'm going to do, so we have our music event. I am going to go hit add event, actors, and then in created or dies, member of group. So when an actor of, I'm going to choose the group, so when an actor of enemies is killed, then we are going to, first, let, so let's, we're going to make a variable. This variable is going to be called victory counter. It's going to count our victory, I suppose. Uh, seems like a decent name for it. So type number. Hit OK. So when an actor of enemies is killed, I'm going to increment it. So numbers and text increment victory counter by one. And then I'm going to rename that to enemy killed. That seems like a good name for it. And then I'm going to add a when updating to check victory to check if the player has won. Victory. Victory. Yep, that's right. All right. Check victory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into flow. I'm going to grab out an if statement. So if, and I'm going to use greater than equal to, if, and then attributes victory counter, greater than or equal to, let's see how many enemies we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if it's greater than, set, greater than or equal to seven, then what we are going to do is we are going to go into game attributes and we are going to, you know, and actually now we can just make it an attribute and create attribute and call it one. So, and we're going to make it a type Boolean, which is a true or false. It can only be, a, it's a true or false. It starts at false. Then we are going to go into our setters and set one to true. So I just hit the arrow and comparison true. So set one to true. All right, so now we have to do something if one is true. So we're going to add event. We're gonna add a drawing this time. And this drawing, we can rename it to show win text. This drawing, we're gonna draw our win text on the screen. So if you go into the drawing, First, we are going to go into, let's see, it should be in styles, yep. So set current font to, we're gonna choose font, we're gonna choose our default font, which hasn't updated yet because we haven't saved. And then we're going to go into flow, and if, then attributes win, or one, if we've won, then we want to go into drawing, drawing, and we're going to draw our text. Draw text victory at um, 300, 
240 is fine for now. That's a good value. So I'm going to test the game, test and see if that worked. Should have, hopefully. That's the goal. So once all the enemies are dead, it should show victory on the screen. That should be perfect. Wait, as soon as it's done compiling. enemies victory so it's really off center it looks sort of weird but uh, at least it displays for now so let's see I'm going to make it I'm gonna try 200 and 200 and see if that's any better we'll make the numbers exact later but just going to give it a this is just a um, temporary, temporary test value, and I might also want to look at my font to see if it's weird. Might change my font up a little bit. All right. All right, that's pretty good. I could. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Let's see. I'll just make it normal. That's probably that'd probably make it better. All right, that's good. I think that's good. And I think that is probably a good place to leave off today. We sort of finished the base game, like the base code, but we're gonna add more and make it more playable. All right. So if you enjoy, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.